Superboy 1904 Comics. Let me fix this camera a little bit. There we go. Today is Saturday, not Wednesday. I did not go to the comic book store. My sister's car broke down. She's going to be using my car for the next week or two. So today my nephew came over, asked if we could stop by the comic book store, pick up my books. He said yes. Gave him my name. Gave him my books. Boom. Six of them. Should have been seven. For some reason, um, Copperhead was not in the bunch. I don't know if they didn't get it. They didn't, you know, they didn't put it in there just because they forgot. So, uh, hopefully Wednesday or sometime next week, I'll pick it up and find out what happened. But, um, I got six books to show you. Thirteen trades. Twelve of them are from BarnesandNobles.com and one is from Amazon. Then I got three sketch cards to show you guys. So let's get into this haul video. Thor number three. Now, for these past two weeks, I have not I've been reading uh, singles. I've been reading some trades, but I really haven't been reading comics as much. Just because I souped up my computer or, you know, messed up. Not messed up, but I bought new parts for it. had it taken apart and stuff. And just playing games and whatnot. Excuse me. But, um, anyways, as I was saying, Thor. Skim through it. Didn't read it. Seeing this. So I get it to focus a little bit. Well, let me read it for you. It says, uh, Unhand my hammer, woman, or know the wrath of Thor. Could this be the end to the whole Lady Thor thing? We'll find out. Or will they hook up and, you know, become some mega Thor team or something like that? <laughs> but, um, let's continue. TMNT number 41. Cool cover. Peter Panzerfaust, number 22. Boom. I have the first trade, the deluxe edition. It consists of the first 10 issues, I believe. And then I have all the singles right after that. So 11 through 22 now. But I read the first three of the singles. So I got, I read, I mean, issues 1 to 13. So I decided to wait to have 10 issues bunched up to read. All of them together, kind of like a trade. So I got one more to go before I read Peter Panzer Faust and see what's going on. Southern Bastards number six, another book that you know some people pick up, obviously because it's really good, and some people kind of didn't know if they wanted to try it or not. But I suggest you try it. Get the trade. It's only like ten bucks. Same thing with this book I'm about to show you guys. That I truly just love this book. That's After Life with Archie. This is number seven. Pretty cool cover. Check it out. But yeah, just trades out. Pick it up. Once again, maybe like ten bucks. I got my trade at Comic Con, and I got it signed, so I'm pretty happy about that. And last but not least, for singles is The Walking Dead. And that's it for singles. And hopefully next week I pick up uh, Copperhead. Put this away real fast. Now, these next 12 books I'm about to show you I got from Barnes & Noble. They have a sale going on. Buy two, trade, get one free. Now, for the get one free, what I did is I bought um, three trades at a time. Or not at a time, but if they're all roughly the same price, I bunched them up together. So, the ones that were 12, 10 to 12 bucks, I put together in one order. And then the more expensive ones... I put together in the order because what they would do, say you buy all 12, they make you pay for the most expensive ones and give you the least expensive for free. So what I did is I got, say, three $12 books. I get I paid $24 to get a $12 book free instead of paying, you know, for all three $12 books. Kind of guys get what I'm saying. Thing is, that's what I did. And it said, sign up, you get free... Express shipping one to three days. That was a lie, people. I got my books about a week and like a day or two late or early. I mean, <laughs> a week or two is what it took to get my books. Not late, not early. A week or two is what it took. Now, what I was trying to say, it took about three to four days to uh, get my notice. Get an email saying we've sent your books. 
Like, I should have received my books by now, not barely get a notice three or four days later. So, so yeah, and they sent in a bunch of, I got one package, I got another package of two books, another package of three books, so it just, it's lame. I wrote them on Twitter, I'm like, this won't happen with Amazon Prime, the day I order it, two days later, it's on my doorstep, and I wrote them like two, three times, and finally when I brought up, brought up the Amazon Prime thing, they kind of got back to me. But uh, let's get into these traits, people. Punk Rock Jesus, something that I always wanted to try. Wasn't sure if I wanted to read it or not, just, well, just wasn't too sure about the book. But I decided to try it out. So there it is, Punk Rock Jesus. A book I'm embarrassed to say that I have not read yet. I finally got it in my hands, it's in my possession. And I will certainly be reading this book. That is Batman Hush. Here is Sweet Tooth, number three. So I know they're uh, just scattered, no particular order, so bear with me, people. Gotham Central, number two. Wonder Woman, volume two. Justice League, volume one. Wonder Woman, volume one. Sweet Tooth, volume two. Gotham Central, Volume 1. Justice League, Volume 2. Sweet Tooth, Volume 1. And last but not least, from Barnes & Noble, Batman, The Court of Owls, Volume 1. I jumped on Batman around zero year, mid-twenties. And, um, I read that in seen a lot of YouTube videos that The Court of Owls, the pretty much pre-Zero Year, was pretty good. I decided to see what it was about. And last but not least for trades is from Amazon. My comic book store was selling the mini series for like 16, 17 bucks. Got it on Amazon for $1.28 hardcover. I paid the expensive shipping just because I don't know why. I just wanted the book, I guess. At the time, I was like, I don't care. I'm paying for the most expensive shipping. It was like six bucks. So for seven dollars, eight bucks almost, I got this book. Face of the Heartland. It's a hardcover. And um, I don't know why, but it says Second and Charles. Ten fifty. It's not what I paid for the book. So I guess it was a used bookstore or something. But um, I keep feeling like I felt my phone vibrating. Guess not. Now, let's get on to these sketch cards real quick. First one, beautiful. Beautifully done, nice detail, Doc Ock. Next one, Bishop. And last but not least, amazing, Jubilee. Now, if you know what a sketch card is, it's basically a plain card, but, but and it's a sketch. It's with a sketch, so roughly the same size. So, yeah, it's a Jubilee, like I said. And behind it is the guy who did it, Peter Semetti. I believe that's how you pronounce it. Boom, little autograph there. Signed and dated and whatnot. So, yeah, he's 5'9", 170. <laughs> but, um, yeah, that's all I got for you guys. Peace out, people. Like, subscribe, share. I'll probably shoot a quick little video later because someone asked about raw feeding, about my dog. I'll shoot that. And I might do a little one-minute video just showing you my computer, all the new parts. Quick explanation what I did to it. But um, anyways, peace out, people. Like, subscribe, share. I'll be checking out your videos pretty darn soon. Laters.